here and welcome back to Around the House in 80 Days. It's Friday afternoon, Friday the 5th of November and this is our last session for the first week for week one uh, and we're having a, a nice wee bathroom banter session in my bathroom as before. As usual, our health and safety announcements first of all, please you're the person that knows all about your health conditions so be mindful of your own health and safety during the session. Please work at your pace. If I'm working too slow, you work a bit faster. If I'm working too fast, you work a bit, a bit slower. Choose the seated or the standing option, but whichever suits you better. Have some support near at hand, um, just in case you feel that you need to move up, hold on. And make sure you get a nice clear area on the floor, round about there. Get all the plants out of the way and the, the chairs out of the way and the sensible footwear on. So we'll get started first of all. We're going to do some marching. I put on a different pair of shoes today uh, because I thought the shoes I was wearing earlier on were a bit noisy on the floor. I don't know if these are any the less noisier but we'll give it a go anyway. So start marching with your legs. Same and seated. That lovely posture. Just a wee reminder about that posture check. Just get your shoulders back, nice and soft. Head nice and tall. That imaginary thread taking your head up to the ceiling. And just march away. And bring in your arms. And your legs sit together. And we're just to march away. And you can march up and down your room. Whatever you feel comfortable with. And as I say, you can sit and march, sit towards the forward third of your chair. Plenty of room for your legs to be free to move. And make sure you paddle those ankles. Get as much movement in there as you can. But also keeping that lovely seated posture. And the reason that we're doing it this is just to get us warmed up a wee bit. Get our circulation moving around all our important bits and bobs, all our important organs and tissues into those muscles, get them a wee bit warmer. And we'll kind of judge when that minute's up, when I'm starting to feel a wee bit out of puff. And I want you to feel not breathless, but as if you've kind of worked a wee bit and your, your breathing's coming a wee bit faster. Lovely. Okay, so what is our first move today? We're actually going to do some hip rotations with the loo brush. Now I'm not going to use a loo brush. I want you to imagine that this wooden spoon is a loo brush to save me eh, twisting around with a loo brush in my hand. But what I want you to do, if you're standing, is to stand nice and tall, feet probably about shoulder width apart, I'll go on the side. If you've seen some of the other sessions, you'll have done this before, but I want you to slide to the side and a lovely rotation round the back. Slide to the side and round to the back. Okay, and this is a say, trusty loo brush in hand, just imagine this is a loo brush. So we'll get it started. Out to the side and round to the back. And we're going to do six each side. And just feel that lovely movement in your hips. Just take your time and enjoy that movement. I think that's number three. If so, that makes that number four. And six. And what we do one way, we do the other way. So out, slide out to the side and round to the back. Out to the side and round to the back. And I think this is number three again. And that loo is going to be sparkling. Beautiful. And last one out to the side and round to the back. And 
that loo is just looking all sparkly clean, looking gorgeous. An option if you're, you're not able or comfortable to stand is if you sit down, nice seated posture, nice straight back, feet facing forward, firmly planted on the ground and just raise your butt cheek off of the chair, one side there and relax and then the other one, the other side and relax. Okay, butt cheek off and feel that in your hip, feel that hip joint moving and the other side. And we're going to do one more on each side so butt cheek off the chair other butt cheek off the chair. Lovely. Next moves that we're going to do are some jockey lifts. We do love the jockey lifts and as importantly as ever we need to have our trusty steed at the ready. Who have we got today? Martha. Hi Martha, how are we doing? So for our jockey lifts, just what it says in the tin, sit yourself a wee bit further back in your chair. Feel the backs of your thighs connected with the chair. Beautiful tall posture, nice relaxed shoulders. Hold on to a horse, of course. Just a deep breath in and just raise your bottom off the seat. So just as if you were a jockey out in a race. Just going to lean a wee bit forward and lift that bottom off the seat. And we're going to do six of those this afternoon. So nice deep breath, lean a wee bit forward. Well done Martha, you're doing us a great job. Another deep breath, lean forward, bottom up. And you should feel that in your back and in, in the back of your thighs too, feeling them those muscles being used a wee bit. So we'll do another couple, so nice deep breath, lean forward, bottom off the seat. Last one, lean forward, bottom off the seat. And just say thanks very much to your pony, to your horse, I'll say thanks very much Martha. We won the race. Beautiful, our last movement, for this afternoon, we are actually going to do a bit of a thigh stretch. I want you to sit quite far forward on your seat. Keep one leg bent, other leg straight, heel on the floor, toes pointing up. And I want you to put your two hands together, one on top of the other, and just gently slide your hand down your leg and try and slide those hands down your leg as far as you can go and if you can just get your hands down there to your knees that's absolutely perfect down a wee bit further even more perfect but just do what you can do at your pace if you can get down to reach your toes absolutely wonderful We'll just do a couple more of those. So one hand on top of the other and have a wee slide down there. And that's good for increasing the stretch and that those big muscles at the back of our thighs. And those big muscles are really important, helping us to kind of keep steady and for walking. Lovely. And what we do on one side, we always do on the other. So keep that leg, outside leg, bent. Other leg, out straight, heel on the floor. One hand on top of the other. And we're just going to slide down and have a wee stretch. And what you'll find is that you'll be able to stretch more easy on one side than you can on the other. And you know, this is a great movement too for getting down to kind of rubbing that cream in your legs or for all the kind of important things that we've got to do in the bathroom like shaving our legs 
I'd get down to her toes, get down to cut her toenails, file her toenails, rub some nice cream into her heels. And we'll just do one last one. The more you do this one, actually, the better you'll get at it. It's always good to have a few egos. Beautiful. And that's all our moves for this afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll just get stuck in now to our cool down march. Just for those feet and the arms again, but nice and slow. Look forward to a lovely Friday evening. Hope you've got some nice things planned. I'm just going to go off and get some, some dinner on. I've got a pot of soup there ready, so that'll get us started anyway, and we'll, we'll have something else nice all going well once I concoct something out of the fridge. So just to say thank you for taking part in Around the House in 80 Days. It's a pilot project, as I've said before, so it's important that we get some feedback from you. Has this been helpful for you? Is this something that you want to take part in? What worked well? What didn't work well? Leave a wee comment in the wee comments box or click on the likey icon. So have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for joining in and we will see you on Monday morning.